Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be filming another three looks using one palette. I did this about a month ago with my Tartlet Toasted and a lot of you guys seem to really like it. So today we are going to be doing another one. I don't have any makeup on. I'm actually about to film the first look in this series, but I just figured I would get an intro out of the way, show you guys the palette, talk a little bit about it and stuff like that. So like I said, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. This was kind of like their holiday launch, their holiday palette. I love this so much. I recently just got this. If you guys want to see some really awesome up close pictures that I took, I'm really proud of them. I think they came out so well. They are on my Instagram. It is at Jackie Ann Makeup, just like all my other social medias. But I decided to get this one instead of the Soft Glam palette for now, just because I had about six of the shades that came in the Soft Glam palette. And this was just so intriguing to me for a long time. I was kind of toying with it. And then when I saw it in person, I was like, yeah, that's definitely a palette that I'm going to be getting use out of. That's really different. I don't have anything like it in my collection so this is what the palette looks like it has that gorgeous felt that all the Anastasia's palettes have so soft and then it has this really gorgeous gold prism design you guys know I love black and gold together so this is a really gorgeous palette and then of course when you open it up on the inside I just think the array of colors in here are so different and so beautiful so this is the inside right here I'm looking down at my monitor just to make sure that you guys can see but the colors are just unique that's the best way that I could definitely describe them you are definitely getting a nice range of mattes to metallics you're getting some shifty shades in there like like lore is a very interesting shade and then a bunch of beautiful blues purples I really like this palette because it incorporates some really fun pops of color but in my opinion these are all very wearable the only one that I think that I would have to play around with a lot more is sphere right here which is such a intense neon yellow but other than that I definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of this palette I love the warm I love the black and also I definitely think the colors are more wearable because as you guys can see they're definitely more jewel tones instead of like bright pops of color so I think that makes it more wearable as well as far as the price on this palette goes it's the same as all of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes $42 I did get mine on sale for $32 at Macy's so if this is still on sale at Macy's I will definitely have the Macy's link down below for you guys so you guys can go check that out and I will also just have the regular link to Anastasia or Sephora if it is not on sale anymore so I just wanted to talk a little bit about the palette before I got started because I think it was just a little bit too late to do like a full in-depth review kind of video so I figured I'd just give you guys my mini review before I went ahead and jumped on into this three looks using one palette video but I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing these three looks definitely let me know if you guys have any other requests I know a few of you have requested other palettes like the sweet peach palette and those are definitely videos that I'm gonna be working on I just figured sweet peach is definitely more of like a summery palette I think I'm gonna wait a little bit more into the summertime to use that so like I said I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and seeing my three looks using the Anastasia Prism palette. Definitely let me know which one of the three looks is your favorite. And if you guys want to see any more looks using this palette, I could try to do that as well. And without further ado, let's just get started. So starting off with look number one, first I'm going to be taking the shade Unity on my fluffy wet and wild blending brush and I'm going to be running this back and forth through my crease. This doesn't show up too much on me, it's definitely only like a shade, a shade and a half darker than my skin tone, but I still like to put that basic transition shade down just for a little bit of depth depth <laughs> to start off and then I'll build up that shade with another one after. So once I have that down, I'm going in with Unity again and mixing that in with a little bit of the shade Lore. I will be going in with blue on my lid later, so I just figured a little bit of a cooler tone shade mixed in with my transition would look really nice as well with this look. So now I'm going to be dipping into the shade Parallel, which is a really awesome deep brown in this palette. I definitely would have to say if I had one complaint about this palette, it would just be the lack of a really nice mid-tone transition crease shade. I feel like the browns in this palette are really, really light and they barely show up for a transition or they're just too dark for a transition shade. So I ended up mixing Parallel right on top of the Unity shade, kind of trying to achieve somewhat of a mid-tone transition look there and kind of building that brown color up into my crease.
Now I am taking that same exact brown shade parallel from the palette on a little bit of a denser and smaller brush. This is the Morphe M433 and I'm going to be building this up even more in the crease and really packing the shade onto my outer corner. Like I said, I am going to be putting down some blue and I love how deep brown and blue look together and I think that it'll just make a nice contrast and I just really like it. And here I'm just going back into a little bit more of the Unity shade, the really light transition that we originally used, just to blend out the edges of that dark brown. So moving on to the lid, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral on a little tiny Veramona eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be carving out the front half of my lid. I have been absolutely loving doing this technique with a lot of different eye looks that I do just because I don't have the biggest lid space and you can actually like carve out extra lid space for yourself. I find that it just makes my lids look huge, it makes my eyes look nice and rounded and of course that light base that we lay down with the concealer set with some powder is going to make the blue really pop off of that lid and then of course just blending where the lid shade meets the dark outer corner so it's a nice gradient. And now for the star of the show, I'm going to be going in with the shade Dimension all over my lid where we put that concealer. I absolutely love this shade, you guys. It's definitely one of my favorites from the palette, and of course it pulls really blue, but it's not a super intense blue. I definitely see some gray, a little bit of a purple vibe in there. It's just such a unique shade, and I think it pairs so well with the brown outer corner. So I'm just going to be applying that with a flat Morphe brush, dry, and then going in over with it wet to make it more intense and then patting some color on top with my finger just so I can make sure I'm getting the most intense color payoff as possible. And of course just going in and doing one more final blend where the lid shade meets the brown so it's a nice gradient and then of course with a fluffy brush just going over all of those edges so it's nice and blown out. And of course, as always in these types of videos, I'm going to be showing you guys some other elements of this look like the blush and the highlight and the lip just so you guys know what kind of pairs really well with the look in my opinion. So for blush today, I'm using the Flor Mar Blush on Terracotta Powder in the shade Golden Peach. I love how peach and blue look together. It's one of my favorite combinations when I'm doing my makeup. And for highlight, I'm going to be using one of my favorites. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight. Again, it's definitely more of like a golden peach. It's not too yellow. So so I love how this looks with the blue and the brown. So I'm just going to be applying this really heavily, of course, where I normally would highlight. And since I am wearing an off-the-shoulder shirt, I'm also going to be hitting my collarbones as well. So moving back to the eyes to finish up the look, I'm going to be taking the shade Unity mixed with Parallel and smoking this on my lower lash line just again to add some more definition, kind of tie everything together and make the top and bottom of my eyes look even. For the inner corner, I'm taking the shade Lucid, which is such an interesting shade. I find that when I put this on my inner corner, it stays very bright and just white almost in a way, but when I put it on my lid, it's almost like a transforming shade and it's more of like a sheer whitish gold. It's definitely a shade that I've been playing around with a lot and it's super interesting. And of course, to finish off the lips, like I said, I love peach with blue, so I'm using the Anastasia Matte Lipstick in the shade Peachy. Moving on to look number two, which is definitely a lot more warm than look number one. I'm going to be taking the shade Sphere, which is the bright neon yellow that they included in this palette. I thought I would have a lot of trouble making this color work on my skin tone, but I actually find that it makes a really nice transition shade, especially when just blended out really lightly with a fluffy brush. So I ran that through my crease again, just very lightly. I definitely think that you can get this color to be way more intense if you packed it on top of a white base or something like that. but. I wasn't feeling that adventurous. So here I'm taking the shade Eden on my Morphe M433 and I'm running this through my crease. I want to do a really warm halo eye today, so I'm running it through the crease as well as focusing the shades on the inner and outer corner of my eyes as well.
And I also tried my best to keep the shade really concentrated lower than the yellow because I wanted the yellow to stay prominent. But as you guys can see, the yellow kind of just got mixed in with the peach and it kept fading. So you guys are just gonna see me a couple times throughout this video go back and add a bit more yellow on that transition line so we have that really fun pop of color up there. And to deepen everything up and to stay really fiery and warm, I'm going in with the shade Saturn, which is just a classic bright warm orange shade. And I'm really focusing this on the inner and outer corners. I will be dragging some of this up into the crease, but I really want the darkest part of the look to be on those inner and outer corners. so We could really get a nice dimension for the halo eye. Here I'm taking the shade Eden on a small fluffy brush and I'm buffing this back into the crease. I just felt like I needed that shade built up a little bit more to merge the deepest orange with the yellow so it was more of a gradient. So it went from lightest to darkest from top to bottom just to merge all the shades and make everything look like one and nice and pretty and blended. You guys know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm going back in with the shade Saturn just to re-deepen up the inner and outer corner and of course again with the shade Sphere to intensify that yellow on the outer portion of the crease. We are going to be going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral, but this time I'm just going to be placing it on the center to emphasize that halo eye. Sometimes when I'm blending all the colors, it's hard to avoid the center of my lid, so I'm just going to clean up and erase some of that shadow with concealer and pat it in with my finger to try to blend it out. So first for my lid, I'm going in with the shade Pyramid, which is just a really stunning classic gold, and I'm packing this on the center, but I felt like I wanted something a little bit more fiery, so I'm placing Eternal right on top to warm things up. And of course just finishing off the top of the lid by applying some more of that Saturn shade on the inner and outer corners of my eyes. Moving on to the face, this is the Benefit Box Blush in the shade Dallas. This is my all-time favorite blush, you guys, and when my eyes are a little bit like colorful or crazy or intense or if I just literally don't know what blush to wear, this is my go-to favorite blush and it works so nicely with this look. So also for highlighter, I'm going in with the shade Daydream from the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit with Anastasia. As you guys saw in the pan, this definitely has like an orangey copper vibe, which I thought would look so nice with the look. It was nice and warm and it matched really well and it's so intense and beautiful. Back to the eyes to finish everything up, I'm going to be taking the yellow shade Sphere on my Morphe M433, but then I switched over to a pencil brush because I really wanted this color to be intense, and as you guys can see, it really builds up to be an intense yellow shade, but I felt like it was making my eyes look kind of swollen, like I was almost sick or something, so I definitely had to add a little bit of those peachy shades. So first I went in with Eden really close to my lower lash line just to kind of warm things up and tone down the yellow because I wasn't really feeling it by itself. And then here I'm going in on a really flat precise brush with Saturn which is the darkest warm shade and just pressing that really close to my lower lash line setting my face with some fix plus and then for lips I'm going to be using the Morphe and Orp Orpha lip set collab in the liquid lipstick in the shade vinyl. And that is going to complete this two looks using one palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure you guys subscribe before you leave because I would love to have you guys here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!